Hey there, family. Welcome to the vlog. You know, Jesus in Matthew 28, he tells us, as you go, make disciples. That's what today's vlog is about. Networking during COVID-19. As we go, how can we tell people about Jesus? Discipleship Vlogs is our church planting journey of being with Jesus, becoming like Jesus, and doing what Jesus did. Come behind the scenes and discover your place in God's story. You know, the thing with networking or sharing your faith during COVID-19 is we get this mindset where we say, I can't. I can't talk to these people, I can't meet them, but actually I've found during COVID-19 that you can socially distance and still share your faith with just as many people as you were pre-COVID. So I am on my way to get my oil changed. Another opportunity to share your faith. I was at the, the dentist yesterday, which is great because you keep going back to the dentist. You can continue a relationship. I always tell them about church, but they're so fascinated with me. They had three different doctors come in the room. They kept asking if I had had a chemical burn because uh, I had this sore thing on the top of my mouth. And what they finally concluded was that I've been eating too many sour patch straws. You know, that acidity, that sour candy, sour punch straws. And so I, I, doctor's orders, I have to lay off of the sour punch straws for a few days. Great opportunity to share your faith. Just eat a bunch of sour punch straws. Can I sanitize your card? And there's oh, the thank you. Yeah. Well, say if you are interested, I'd love to give you a church invite. I'm on a mission team in town. Alrighty. I couldn't even think about it in the moment, so he asked for my card to pay at the oil change, and I handed him a church card, didn't even realize what I was doing, and he took it, he was like, what the heck is this? He's like, oh, I'm sorry, and I took it back from him, gave him my card, then uh, after he did that, I was like, hey, yeah, I was trying to give you a church invite, here it is, he's like, right on, okay, I'll take it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a coffee at Dutch Brothers now, and they're awesome, usually, Super fired up high schools are working there that are very sociable and they're always great for making conversation with. So here we go. Say that had five on it. So what we do is like uh, five. Just or, like toss this out until yeah, COVID's over. <laughs> exactly. It sucks. Gotcha. So four or less, it's 50% off a drink or five or more, it's a free drink. Great. That's close enough. So I'm just going to give it to you because. Hey, awesome. Thank sucks. you. Yeah. yeah. So. It's tough with Dutch Bros in the drive throughs because they don't take cash and I've actually tried to give them a church card before and they say they don't accept cards because of COVID right now. So you have to just give a verbal invite, can't pass along any information. I'm on my way now to pick up some pizza for dinner and we'll see if I can share my faith with the clerk. Isaiah is that like the Bible prophet or different Isaiah? Uh, it's the same definition, yeah. Nice. Pizza served. Ooh. Pizza, pizza. Sometimes I end up at the park in downtown Bend, just cold contact, walking around, asking people about Jesus and sharing my faith, but it's not always the most effective thing. So I love the app Meetup. You can find board game groups, social groups, sports groups, hiking groups, which I prefer, and you can get out and meet people in the community. That way, if I organize two or three hiking events throughout the month, and that averages out to where I'm sharing Jesus with about a person a day. So that spire up there, that is monkey face. Climbers from all, all over the world come here to climb that. It's a column like 200 feet freestanding. People even will slack line from that column over to the rock. People are crazy. Be intense to climb that. So at church this past Sunday, we had a guest and he was awesome. But he said, you know, I believe church should be every day. And I see you guys are a mission team really interested in being missional. What do you guys do throughout the week for missions? And that's such a great heart check for all of us to ask ourselves outside of Sunday morning, what are you doing throughout the week to be missional? So this is Amy, State Park volunteer, and we met in an interesting way. 
because I was droning a little bit where I shouldn't have been droning, so she put me in my bounds because <laughs> there's some boundaries for droning, right, in the park? Just right now because the raptors are nesting, yep. That's right. But it, Amy's pretty cool because she's always here at the state park and we're talking about Facebook groups and meetup, right? You're always hiking and meeting always people hiking, in the yep. groups. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Man, what, what would you say to somebody who is thinking about meetup or the Facebook groups and wanting to get out on these groups right now? I think it's the best way to meet people, especially if you're new to the area or just simply you're not new to the area, but you haven't done a particular hike before. Um, that's actually how I got started. I just wasn't familiar with the trail and saw that some girls were going out on a hike and I was like I don't know if it's safe for me to go out there by myself so that's how I hooked up and so it's just been great sometimes you find out that they're okay you know to be out there by yeah. yourself or at other times it's just like wow I just met some really cool people and it's just an extra bonus exactly so, yeah. there you go get out on meetup Facebook hikes you get to meet awesome people in the community like Amy so I just got back from the hike and it occurred to me as I was driving around y you know you see in the Bible Paul in the book of Acts is going around he's sharing with people of influence persons of peace people like Lydia or the Philippian jailer same thing for us we need to actually get to know people in our hometown the people who are connected in the community and if they're open to Jesus down the road and you can share about the power of the gospel, then awesome. But we need so much to be connected to those persons of peace. I think Meetup is a great place to do that. And you never know, that person may not be interested, but people they know could be interested. People within their sphere of influence. It's always easy does it coming down the trail. This weekend when we did it, there's so many people here that you really need one of these face masks. But not today, not crowded. Not windy, really beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, it's just a long neck. Wow. Yeah. Anyhow, so, uh, yeah, there's so many churches that may just put all of their sermons on YouTube. Right. That's really not what will engage the YouTube creator community. Right. <laughs> so, trying to meet that audience. Yeah. They're about to come to where that uh, vegetation line. That the one is now stopped, so it's not moving. There's one running. Like halfway up. Looking at wild coyotes. Yeah. Halfway up. And this canal where people swim, sometimes try to go through this big tunnel right here, but sometimes the current gets taken away, so dangerous. And when you get up on the ridge here, you can see through Smith Rock. Middle sister, north sister, not Jefferson back there. Bright and sunny in the morning light. Uh, 97 and go okay. behind like where the post office and the hardware store is. Okay. You Good can idea. Get out a little bit easier. So what could be better than getting out, meeting people, hiking, making friends in the community? It's one of the best ways to meet people during COVID. To the edge of the cliff. I'm a YouTuber, Alex. <laughs> kind of more hazy than I'd expect. I think that wind is kicking up. Yeah. Hazy. I'll use that on Sunday. <laughs> Well, I have to come up here early one day so I can add golden eagles to my list. So we made it up Misery Ridge. Well, you guys will have to give me details about your trips. Oh yeah, I'll grab your number or talk after, yeah. <laughs> this is my buddy Tyler, met on Meetup. He just moved back to Bend. Cause I think it's awesome, but Tyler, what do you think of Bend? I love Bend, super happy to be back. Uh, I mean, just look at the beautiful outdoors we're experiencing today. This is great. Sarah, are you ever climb these? Yeah. I'm trying to double that one right there? I, I don't know if it was exactly that, but it was definitely like somewhere um, along this ridge and from one of the places that we climbed. Wow. You could also, another like, conservative place you could put it that grows kind of Yeah. Crazy. Someday. <laughs> I miss it. You moved to Bend in the summer. What do you think of it? I love Bend. <laughs> it's an easy place. It's an easy place to be. And uh, 
I mean, for us, it's been a great place to be during the pandemic, especially. Yeah. Because we can still be social and be outside. And it's, you know, it's February and it's gorgeous out. This is the place. Yep. after the hike this is general duffy's and it's awesome food carts in redmond it's just funny in the winter because we gather around those fire pits for the warmth and it's always really fun to meet people there so after a hike you always have to get a burger and then then after the burger you're depleted of energy and you go into a coma <laughs> but it's great here because it's cold so everyone has to gather around the fire and usually i end up talking, conversation, meeting locals. So babe, how crazy are Sundays to get some family time in? They're pretty hectic because we've got church and then we live about 25 minutes away from church. So we drive, which isn't really that bad, but um, we usually take separate cars so he can go early and so she can take a nap at home. And sometimes we get out for a little lunch afterwards, like today. We got some sushi. Oh, we got some sushi, which is really nice and kind of a rarity. So it's cool. Good. The rare sushi, and we have feasted. <laughs> so back in the spring and original mission team planting, we'd be cold contact sharing our faith around here. Now it's one of the first sunny weekends, and even with COVID, there are actually uh, people walking around the mall here, the old mill in downtown Bend, Oregon. So it is the opportunity to now come back and even though people are wearing masks, start sharing our faith cold contact again. Where the really good stuff happens in sharing your faith is when you can have a dialogue. When people are talking about the scriptures and developing their own convictions. So that's why we try to host open Bible discussions. And we have some of the brothers and sisters and guests and just order an appetizer for the table and talk about God. So here early to get a table for Bible discussion. Usually I have to show up 30 minutes to an hour early. One time I even waited in the snow, but it's worth it just to get together with a few people, have a dialogue about Jesus and help them come to their own convictions, just engage the community and make friends. Plus it's, uh, I don't know, good to get out of the house during COVID-19 and stay safe as well. Some weeks we get a lot of guests and a lot of interesting beliefs and other weeks it's a little cold out, a little windy out, a little tough to get people to come out and get into the Word of God. <laughs> so at long last we got Veronica and Amanda, awesome sisters. Hi. Hey. Here for the Bible discussion. So I got Amanda and Veronica here and that's awesome, they're faithful sisters, but wasn't able to get any guests out uh, for a Bible discussion. And my fries haven't even showed up. So no fries, no guests, but the fries will come. Guests will come. If I'm a disciple and I feel like I love Jesus and I want to share that with people, I need to watch something about outreach to know how to do that, how to not be afraid of it, how to um, make it less intimidating because it's scary. I, I want to sit and I want to watch videos in my house, right? But I know that as someone who loves Jesus and wants to share about him and follows him and he says, go and make disciples, that I need to go and make disciples. So that's why I would watch something like that. And all sharing your faith is, all networking is, is making friends. Making friends and building family. So I encourage you to think of it that way. Stay safe, stay socially distanced, but just make friends, build family in the community. You know, I found that if you just have that motive to love your neighbor, people appreciate that and they actually reciprocate that. And I've made some, some great friends. Not all of them want to come to church or want to make Jesus Lord of their life, but they might down the road. And I don't regret it just because I have those relationships in the community now. Thank you all for watching this vlog on networking. Please stay tuned for next week when I hope to share my testimony with all of you. Bye.